Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, they have what's known as emol emoluments. Yes. <laughs> in, in Title 18 Crimes and Criminal Procedures. Yes. <laughs> now, whoever being a postal service officer or an employee of any post office or station thereof. <laughs> For the purpose of increasing the emoluments or compensation of his office, yes, induces or attempts to induce any person to deposit mail matter in or forward in any matter for mailing at the office where such officer employee is employed, mm -hmm. knowing such matter to be properly mailable at another post office. Oh, mm -hmm. now uh, just reading that, so. Um, it would it would seem that if you tried to get somebody to mail something at a different post office than your post office, or for whatever reason, yeah, uh, there's uh, some sort of uh, gratuity that you receive. Yeah. <laughs> now um, we've talked about the mailing of court notices. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, post office. Could you could you get me all the postal workers, all four hundred forty thousand of them? Yes. See, what happened was, yeah, mm -hmm, is you issued two reference numbers for the same disillusion of marriage, oh, mm -hmm, and everything was sent to 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, yes. Now, I would think the Carlsberg Post Office was the post office that delivered the mail to that location, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but this postal service officers or employees from depositing on the direction of postal service in a national bank designated by the, the secretary of the treasury? Yeah. Uh, wait a second here. What does this actually say? Mm -hmm. Theft of newspapers. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then effective date. Oh, misappropriation of postal funds. Whoever mm -hmm. being an employee of the post office, the postal service. Yes. Yeah. Loans, uses, pledges, hypothecates, or converts to its own use, or deposits in any bank, or exchanges for other funds or property, <laughs> except as authorized by law, any money or property coming into the, his hands under his control in any manner, <clears throat> in the execution or under the color of his office, employment, or service, whether or not the same uh, uh, shall be the money or property of the United States, or, or fails, <clears throat> To or refuses to remit uh, to or a deposit in the Treasury of the United States, yeah. designated depository or to account for, turn over the proper officer or agent any such money or property when required to do so by law or by the regulation of the Postal Service, yes, mm -hmm. uh, or upon demand or order of the Postal Service, either directly or through a duly authorized officer, guilty of embezzlement. Oh. And every such person, as well as every other person, advising and knowingly participating therein, shall be fined under this title sum equal to the amount of value of the money or property. Yeah. Now, um, just so that I know, uh huh, uh, when you committed the fraud of issuing those two reference numbers, poo, did the state send out anything through the United States Postal Service from the state of Washington? Yeah. That would involve both reference numbers. Now. <laughs> There's probably a large number of postal service employees that I'm going to sue because I contacted the the uh, inspector general. Yes. The postmaster general. Yes. Now, um, you decided to commit a fraud. Yes. Where on the day of the dissolution of marriage, yeah, that I didn't get notice of, oh, that you would issue the divorce certificate on that same day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it should have uh, generated some sort of notification from the state. Yes. Now, yesterday I was talking about this um, child support order that I received when I went to jail on J January 4th. <laughs> yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Where you took a dollar fifty-six. Poop. You know that was the only notification, but somehow I think that they would have sent something out over the last seven years and eight months. Yes. And they would use the postal service to do that. Oh. <laughs> Now, when the state of Washington uses the United States Postal Service to send state notices to the wrong address, <clears throat> so you can commit the fraud of kidnapping, larceny, and <clears throat> embezzling funds, <clears throat> why don't you get me all the Postal Service employees of the United States of America? Yes. And every post office right now. Pooch. Because I'm telling you, the Secretary of the Treasury, oh, 
oh, oh, oh. I'm going to need to account for all the actual funds of every post office because it seemed like somebody was helping them. <laughs> Self. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> this fraud that you committed against myself, yes, <laughs> if you sent one piece of fucking mail right now, it's postal service fraud. Poach. Now, I'm going to want you to go to prison today. Oh. <laughs> and uh, this idea the United States Dispersion Officer, otherwise one instructor or required sold by the Postal Service for the purpose of remitting surplus funds over from one post office to another. <laughs> it seems that somebody's really into the emotion. <laughs> 